It's a need like the air that I breathe. It's a need. Hey beautiful people, welcome back. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day and I hope that you're ready to jump into some makeup current product releases because your girl wants to sit down and I wanna talk about some things because I keep getting asked so many questions about what I will and will not be picking up and testing out and I thought that this would be the best way to just you know sit down and talk about some things. So that is what we're doing in today's video. So we're gonna go ahead and kick this thing off with something I have been eyeing for so long ever since it launched which I think has been what, like a month, month and a half ago at this point and guys, I'm talking about the Makeup Geek Matrix system. Like, I... I want this so unbelievably bad. Like the whole system, I want all the mega palettes. Like it is the $200 bundle situation. And I just want to get my little grubbing mitts on it so bad and just play with it because I think it looks so damn good. Before y'all come for me in the comments and start, you know, saying some stuff, I do know that there was like a drama or like a bad situation that happened between the owner of Makeup Geek and another creator. And this has nothing to do with that. I just want to make that clear. Um, this is just strictly from like an aesthetic perspective, I think that these look so insanely beautiful. The shades, the layout, like the way everything goes, I, for, like once it's all set up, I just feel like this looks like such a beautiful color scheme. And I even love the concept because I've seen a few videos on it at this point um, of how it's like, oh, you know, you can take one of each gradient and no matter what you go with, like they should all match and just the entire idea behind this. And then just like ease of access, the way everything's laid out, I'm just crazy about it. So this is something that at some point down the line, I would love, love to pick up. Um, for me right now, is it something I'm going to grab? No, just because I'm trying to be like extra mindful after 2019 and all of the releases that happened. I'm being very, very mindful with what I purchase, um, which in this video, it's not going to sound like it because there's a lot of stuff I want to play with, but um, I'm just being extra mindful. So I'm not going to pick it up yet, but I, I, wah, I have fought the devil every single day, honey, every single day. I want it so bad. The next one that I'm curious about, super random for me, this is from Huda and it's her Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. And I don't know what it is about this scrub. I, I, oh, I can't tell you. I just want to play with it so bad. There's something about a good face scrub and like good skincare that always gets to me. And I've seen so many people talk on this. I've seen a lot of people, you know, application before, after this, that, the other, but it's still so new that like, I, you know, I can't differentiate between like who had good skin before, who did it really help? Like it hasn't been out quite long enough, but I am dying to play with this. If any of you have tried it or, you know, you have thoughts, opinions, or you saw a really good review, anything like that, please let me know down below because I, guys, the struggle is real. Like at first, I'm going to be the first one to tell you. I was like, mm, hold up. I don't think so. Like you and your little face scrub can just get out of here. And then there was something about it. Like I started reading about it and it slowly kind of changed my mind. And now I look at it and I'm like, Ooh, I want it. Now I know at this point, it probably sounds like Paige. You just want everything. And you're not wrong because going into my next product, I saw it and I instantly was like, Ooh, <gasps> I need it in my life, honey. It's from, according to Trend Mood, it's from a new brand. It's Vanity Makeup. They came out with these um, sculpting palettes. Each one has a sculpting cream, a highlight cream, and a glow cream. They retail for $39, and they come in five different shades. So there's fair, light, medium, tan, and dark. And I think that these look so how oh, beautiful. They look so creamy. They look so rich. And obviously I can't tell these things from a picture, but like here I am wanting them anyways. Like I can't help it. The only thing I don't love is that I think it's the fairest compact or the one that falls under fair, which would usually be the one I would go with. I don't like that the cream on it looks silver, like the highlight cream on it looks silver. But then if you go over to light, that one looks like it has more of a champagne kind of finish, which is more my vibe. So I'm a little bit unsure about that. But for the most part, I'm just so intrigued. I want to play with these so bad. Yes, please, honey. Yes, please. Now, next up, I'm going to talk just pure packaging for a second, because the one that they came out with from Sugar Pill, this is their new uh, capsule collection. Oh my word, am I the only one that thought that packaging looked so ridiculously cool? Like, I loved that it was something different, something innovative, a design we haven't seen before. And that is with me being the first to admit, guys, guess who normally hates weird shapes or non-uniform packaging? This bitch right here. I hate it 
so much. And for some reason, this one, like I'm not bothered by the fact that there's little circles and big circles and like different sizes and, and like finishes. Like there's something about this that works so well and the concept behind it, like it's a pill and then inside the pill, you've got the little, the little speckles and like all the actual medicine in it. Like this, for me, this concept, I whoever came up with and marketed this, brilliance. I absolutely love this. My only concern is that the palette itself, like if it was chintzy or if the, the shadows weren't suspended very well, just something to keep in mind as far as, you know, packaging and, and that sort of thing, given that I can't tangibly feel it, I just want to point it out. Um, but for me personally, is it something I would pick up? No, just because I don't think that the colors and like the story behind it, I would really utilize, but I just wanted to give a shout out because I think the concept on this is fan freaking tastic. Fantastic. It looks so cool. Now guys, here's where we're gonna take a little little erp detour from like Sunnybrook, you know, happy sunshine. Ooh, everything's so great. I'm loving so many products. And now we're gonna just detour for a second because I'm having a whole moment with this and I just need to know if I'm the only one. So I was watching the Jeffree Star video for his release of Bloodlust. That's what we're talking about, the entire collection. Am I the only one that was so underwhelmed? And I don't mean this in like a mean way. I hate it when I have to like crap all over somebody's project. Let's go ahead and start off on like a on like a slightly more positive note. Um, the actual packaging of the palette and just like the the vibe of it, you know, it's got the velvet, it has that luxe thing going on. I do think that's really cool. And I love and appreciate that with Jeffrey and his palettes and like whatever he designs, I like that he commits to his aesthetic. Like he himself in life is a very over the top type person. And I love that he holds his palettes and his makeup to that same standard. However, however, um, with this particular palette, I feel like looking at it, it's, there's something about it where I'm just like, mm hmm strawberry milkshake. Like it is so just like, it's so vanilla to me and I don't know why. Oh, hello, beautiful people. Editing page here. I have to stop in looking so good. Um, cause we need to have a little mini discussion about this palette because here's the situation. I made one fatal flaw. So during this, you know, I kind of keep going and I talk about the palette and the collection, yada, yada. And while I still agree with a lot of what I said, I made one big mistake and I watched Nikki Tutorial's video and let's face it, that woman can make anything look good because she's just got like so much talent. Um, as I sit here with a bag of Lay's Poppables editing my video. But anyways, I watched her video and she did such an amazing job with the palette, the colors, and she did it in a way where I'm like intrigued and I want to use the palette and I want to like play with it. But at the same time, I still feel like I have a little bit of that vanilla milkshakey type vibe from it. So I'm a little unsure, but I wanted to pop on here really quickly just to mention that if I do pick it up, um, I think the palette has potential after seeing her play with it. Um, but the other thing that I was interested in, in the collection, I'm not really interested too much in the, um, uh, the highlight, I think it's really pretty and I love the way that she applied it to her lid. But as far as a highlight and given the price tag, I think that is uh, price, priced at like $50. And I think that's just really high. I know the packaging is nice and everything, but for me, it's just not my cup. But the other thing that I was kind of curious about from this collection that I cut out later because I knew I was going to be doing this little insert right here was actually the glosses. Um, I'm not exactly sure like which shades or if any at this point I'm looking at, but just wanted to mention it. If I do pick up the palette um, or a couple of glosses, like it is a possibility because um, when I filmed this, there was like a 0% chance and now there's like you know, it's like teetering. Like we're up to like 20 whole percent that I like might think about it. So just wanted to, you know, update there. Um, the packaging still kind of drives me like a little bit crazy because um, I, like I just, I look at all like the empty spaces around the outside and oh, like I'm a Libra. I want all that space filled. I just I like, I like things to be just so. Um, so that kind of bothers me a little bit. But as far as like the colors, I just wanted to mention, like I'm a little bit more on board now than I was then. So you know, update already from, from, from this, from all of this. Okay. You're welcome. Ooh, loaded, but something I am intrigued by and guys, you know, I wear it. What is this? What? <laughs> We're just little bunny foo, foo hopping down the forest. Um, I am so intrigued with the new Tatcha silk canvas. This is their liquid canvas protective primer, the liquid silk canvas guys. I wear silk canvas almost every day. I'm wearing it right now. And I am so curious about this liquid freaking primer. It says liquid freaking primer. I don't know. I don't know what is my hands. They just, they have a mind of their own. Um, but it says 
getting back to what I was talking about. It says that this is a weightless and oil-free liquid skincare primer. It nourishes the skin, minimizes clogged pores, and helps pr makeup look and last longer, and it is $52. It says that the Silk Canvas is a pressed balm. It's richer, creamier, and for all skin types, whereas the Liquid Silk Canvas is liquid with a pump, featherweight, oil-free for all skin types. So I think what we're going to have here, obviously, is like an emolliency difference, but also a difference in like the density on your skin. And I'm just, I'm very curious of how this is going to affect like hydration on like a surface level, um, or things like settling into the skin, pore reduction, that are like pore um, visibility reduction on the surface of the skin, things like that I am super curious about. Um, and the minute I saw it, I was like, yup, yup, girl, where do I sign? Where do I sign? Where do I sign? All right, so real quick, let's just go ahead and detour right back over to the probably most requested questioned thing um, that has released recently, and that is, of course, the Jaclyn Hill palette. Paige, will you be picking up her volume two, testing it out, giving us a full review? And guys, I am not, actually, which I know there's probably a lot of people out there that are like, what? Um, because her original, like her large one, the same one, but, you know, that came out a year ago, I love that palette so freaking much. I think it is, it's like probably, in my opinion, one of the best palettes that Morphe has ever done. I think the the quality, texture, everything about it is so, so nice. One of the things for me that was a selling point with that palette was all the different um, colors and tones and shades that it had in it. Like it had a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, a little bit of purple, a little bit of neutral, and this and this. Like it really did a beautiful job hitting just the right notes of several different colors. And I feel like for me, that is what this one is missing. That doesn't really draw me in as much as the first one did. Um, there are aspects to this that I love. I love that it has like that really nice bright neon kind of vibe to it. It has that um, more like true bone color shade, which according to, I want to say it was Jacqueline's video, she said was because of Lipstick Nick. It's the shade, I think, Certified. And I love that shade. Like that to me is probably one of the ones that draws me in because I love in a palette like this, a good bone color shade. I could not agree more. It really needed it. The original one did as well. Um, but there's just other aspects to this palette that when I look at it, I'm like, eh, these are all very similar. How often am I like wearing these types of colors right now? How often do I really dive into like deep, dark, sultry purples? And you know, just things like that, that I'm kind of like, mm, like I just, it's not really calling to me. Oh, hello, beautiful people. Paige again. Um, hopefully this is the last time you see her because let's face it, this is a lot to take in. But I wanted to also pop on here for this one because I made another fatal flaw and I watched Teresa's video and I talked to her about this palette and she says it's really good. I'll link her video wherever it goes. Um, guys, she made it look so pretty <laughs> and I'm like, oh, and even though I do feel like, um, I do feel like some of the shades in this palette are like a little bit repetitive. I'm still on the fence. So this might be another one that like after a while I might pick up um, because I'm someone that like, and I've mentioned this several times on my channel, for me, it isn't about like the person or the drama they're involved with. Like if the palette speaks to me or the, you know, whatever, like I, I want to test it out and see if it's any good. And I've seen a ton of good reviews on this. And my biggest fear is like, I feel like at this point when it came to eyeshadow palettes, and I'm not trying to be shady, but she kind of had like a 50-50 thing. Like her original palette with Morphe, fantastic. Those little vaults that came out, absolute hot fire garbage trash shitholes. So then I'm like, okay, this next one, like it could go either way. Like, we, we don't got a teeter-totter situation on our hands here. And I was just a little bit unsure. And again, do I think some of the colors could be a little repetitive? Yes, but like, so am I. Like, how repetitive is this same outfit? This is what editing page, this is my outfit. Editing page is only known. It's, I'm like, where's Waldo? Except <laughs> editing page. Heh. Like some things are just meant to be repetitive, right? Um, So, you know, it's got that whole thing going on. But also there's the the um, uh, fact when I was talking to Teresa, or maybe she said it in the video, I can't remember anymore. My all my worlds blend together. But one of the things that was mentioned by her is that um, it looks different online than it does like in person because I feel like online you look at it and it's a little bit like hmm, like it's just a little bit lackluster. But after talking, I've heard that you know again it's a little bit more vibrant in person. Uh, so there's that. Also, I had a bunch of questions about her brush extension on if I would consider that. And I think honestly, based on her original brush set that she released with Morphe, 
I would consider the brush extension because I loved her original brushes. I still use a ton of them to this day. I think they're so good. Um, Quality is really nice. They've held up beautifully. So I don't have any issues with those, but I just wanted to come on here and mainly mention about the palette. Your girl might be on the verge of thinking about it like again. So this one, when I filmed it, it was at like, you know, eh, like a five, 10 percent chance of me purchasing it. And this one went up dramatically. Like this one is now at like a solid like like 50, 60 percent. Like I could I could end up with it. OK, that's where we're at. Just wanted to give you guys an update on my like where I'm at up here. Plus, let's face it, editing page. I mean, oh, and she's got like a mullet rat tail situation going on now. Like, how could you not want to see all this? Yes. Oh, my God. 97 year old realness and a 30 year old body. Mm, mm, mm. OK, finish out the video. Enjoy. <laughs> you should see the look I just got from my mother. Are you ever worried that like this is what you created? Like, are you so proud? Look at all this. All these seven chins. <laughs> you help make those. <laughs> My mom just looks at me and goes, that's all I'm getting. It's a start. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. Oopa, oopa. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So this one I actually saved so I could ask you guys about it because I was looking through and I've noticed um, on their website that Fenty has actually released quite a few new things that I haven't played with. Um, they have like their new makeup refreshing spray. They have a couple new shades of their gloss bomb, which y'all know I love their gloss bomb. Oh my God. I love it. Um, they've also released, what was it? They had the mascara. They had those little click eyeshadow palettes, some eyeliners, just a bunch of like random things. And I haven't tested the formula on any of it and I wanted to ask you guys would you be interested or curious or whatever if I put together like a um a, a new-ish face of Fenty and I'm kind of thinking stuff that I just haven't tried before that I would be curious about like the stuff I mentioned um maybe picking up an eyeshadow palette maybe doing an eye look and just playing around with the formula the consistency and uh, I don't know just seeing if any of it is any good or worth it or whatever what do you guys think are would you be interested in that let me know down below. And I think either way, just for the record, I'm probably going to pick up like one or two of the glosses because, well, <laughs> I have a problem and I love Fenty gloss. So, I mean, either way, that brown one, I need it and I need the clear one. Need, need, need. It's not a want. It's a need. It's a need like the air that I breathe. It's a need. And all right, you guys, that is it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you like them? Do you still like these videos? Do you like knowing kind of what's coming down the pike, what I will be testing, what I won't be testing, kind of thoughts and opinions? Leave all of yours down below. And and of course, let me know as well if you still like this video because I don't want to make them if you guys don't like them. But I love getting to hang out and talk to you guys about, you know, what, what I'll be testing, maybe what's coming down the pike in the future, that sort of thing. Um, so let me know. Do you like them? Do you not? If you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do that as well. I do upload three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. Uh, so if you like having someone to just hang out with in the morning, I'm your girl. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a great day, night, week weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope that you guys are having... <laughs> I was so just... You and your loud little car can go away. Hello. I need to know from you guys, would you be interested in Fenty? Because they have actually recently launched... Launched? <laughs>